Hi YouTube, I got a really good response from you guys. You said you didn't mind me being in the garden. You didn't mind the, you know, kind of impromptu with the trees and stuff. And this is my Escara and Cress. Those weedy looking things there are land crest and they do very good for me. That is garlic. That sharp blade there is garlic and it's getting quite tall. Okay, today I'm going into my little tumble metal here. And um, yes, it looks like weeds, but I actually planted the majority of this stuff. First thing we're gonna come to here, this is land crest in Britain, they grow watercress, but I don't have very much water. This landcress is very weedy, but it tastes just like watercress. It is delicious, and um, I can grow it pretty easy. You can see that it has been attacked by what they call the cabbage moth, because it's in the mustard family, but who cares? There's so much of it. This is a lettuce that people eat quite a bit of, I think. You know it's you can recognize this leaf here and again this is in the mustard family and it has gone to seed but um, I'm gonna pick some of these leaves off because I'm gonna put them on my pizza I actually bought a pizza from uh, I got it from Domino's but they didn't put any vegetables on theirs like I like this is mustard greens yeah so you guys see I picked I planted all this stuff Pick some more of this um, one right here. This grows really easy, but the growing season is so short for me. And then here's some of my um, endive. I'm gonna try to get me a nice juicy fat leaf. This again, this is in the chicory family. And I know you probably, if you're Southern, you've heard of chicory coffee. This looks beautiful, so most people would plant that, but I do plant the weedy ones too. And since I got so much of this one, this is gonna be the star of my pizza topping here. So I just wanted to share with you my little vegetable harvest. Oh, the birds are having a fit because they think I might be picking some of these flowers. These are arugula flowers. And I picked the arugula. Let me see if I can find a, a arugula down there. I pick it and it's in flower right now. Okay, here's an arugula leaf. I picked all the big ones and it is in flower right now, so here's another one. But it does good here. It comes when we, I got a few arugula leaves there. Love arugula. And if I can find a few more, let me see if I can find a few more. Yeah, here we go. But the birds love the flowers on it and they're having fits because they think that I love the flowers. Oh, here's a, another one that popped up. It's quite weedy, quite delicious. Who doesn't love arugula there? Well, I just wanted to share with you me picking through my little meadow here today and putting it on my salad. I do have this margarita salad pizza recipe out there. so. Please look for it. Angelica, look at that Angelica. I pick a few leaves off that all the time, but it is just doing great. I am going to snatch a few of those. I'm further from that than you would imagine, but I'm definitely going to grab some of those leaves. I just break, let me see if I can reach in there without hurt, harming anything so you can see me do this. So I just break off the tip right there like that. It's got such a, it's got a such a rich flavor. I just love it. Hey everybody, this is my Italian purple broccoli. Um, the sad thing about it is it's not very purple. It actually came out green in my garden. But I'm gonna clip some of these broccoli florets. Broccoli florets are actually the flowers of the broccoli. I'm gonna clip these off and I'm going to eat them. And I'm gonna hope that that gets me some more. I, I'm a little bit late. See, these look pretty good here. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna give these a minute. I'll just wait until they um, flower out, but look at all of these. I'm gonna take these off and let this bad by come again. I need to 
use my I have better clippers guys but I just wanted to use these okay so there it is over at my pot and I didn't see the carrot greens growing anymore and so I came over I want you to see this a creature that could dig this deep this is how deep it dug in this pot it's hand deep it's eight inches deep and here's another hole where they dug this carrot out um, there's still some carrots in here I guess those weren't ready yet so carrot flowers from here oh I think I even see a little bit of carrot down there no it's just my imagination I'm just dream but here are the ends of the carrot they did eat both of the carrots and they enjoyed them so I'll just have to buy carrot seed next year and plant it from seed I can get about a hundred carrots in a pot so but I'm not gonna do pots next year I'll just grow them on the ground if you look over there there's plenty of carrots in the ground because uh, I can grow so many more let me zoom in so you can see that right there is the foliage of a carrot this right here in a pot you don't get as much foliage but you can grow 100 carrots in this pot easy bigger and longer ones than that so that is what happened to the carrots in the pot i just wanted to share it with you every once in a while a weed grows up and i like the look of it i'm just really liking this sharp foliage on this plant here i really like it it is about to flower you cannot do this in your front yard garden but in the backyard if you find a weed that you like you could grow it and also all of these are mustard greens guys everything that looks like this is a mustard greens and a southern girl does eat them so i like the idea of having something growing that i can eat in the in a perchance there's a famine that will grow this many leaves so you know I'm always thinking about a famine that I've never lived through a famine but I'm always preparing for it I did not know that escarol endive and chicory were drought tolerant but as you can see my soil is bone dry the chicory is not having a problem I have lost most of my lettuces I only have a couple of lettuce left you can see they've been drying out from lack of water. But hey, this is Southern California. That's the best I can do. I should have fava beans soon. My fava bean plants are six inches tall and they are full of flowers. Well, my corn should be knee high by July. It is the end of April. We got one week more of April. The California wildflowers, you see those little dainty yellow flowers those are oxalis those are california wildflowers the tall ones are my mustard greens which the mustard greens have given me quite the meadow look so i'm i'm very happy about that thankfully this is my backyard see there's mustard green flowers everywhere they just bolt it right on out oh and my thyme is in flower too so i've got quite a meadow here yellow and a little bit of blue flowers with the thyme and my broccoli went to flower. Didn't get very big broccoli, but I've been eating broccoli flowers. I'm determined to have food. But the corn is what I am talking about here. It is definitely six inches tall, and I'm starting to be able to weed out um, blades of grass because obviously at six inches tall, they don't look like corn stalks. There's a beautiful shot of my fava bean flowers. They are so gorgeous, full of them. There are the beans on the poles, and that lovely rock star there is artichoke. So it's looking gorgeous in that corner there. I am trying to get some more so I can plant some more out. That's a mess of garlic. That's my garlic planted in the ground. Since I up the water to once a week, it seems to be doing okay. It's now in a sunny location. It was shaded all winter and um, most of spring but now it's getting a pretty good amount of one sun. of my favorite seed companies had a sale so i picked up mostly summer vegetables seeds for 20 percent off i got long island cheese squash i got oops, jimmy nardello peppers black nebula carrots i can grow carrots all year long same with beets 
and black mountain watermelon. I'm forever trying to get some watermelon to grow here. Um, Luther Hill sweet corn. And the corn doing well here. I don't know how the second batch will go. Purple potted pole beans. Oh, they must have thrown that in. I don't think I ordered. Oh, those are beans. Yeah, I got beans. Covello beans. This is a new bean here. It's a bushing type dry bean. So I don't do a lot with dry beans, but I'm going to give this a try now. And let's keep it going. Amish pie squash. And then we have winter luxury pumpkin pie. You guys know I like my pumpkins. Hollow crown parsnips. I've got hollow parsnips growing pretty well, but I want more. Never enough parsnips. Keekly sweet watermelon. And St. Valerie Carrot. I think I only got one of those left because it was used as famine food. So I'm going to go out in the garden and spread these seeds around. This is around. my blueberry and parsnips patch. All of these are parsnips. I thought they were Angelica, but they turned out to be parsnips. The Angelica is coming back in the back there. But I'm going to put more parsnips all around the blueberry. And... I'm just gonna throw it out. See here. the little white dots? Those are my parsnip seeds. They are quite large. So, and we'll see how many parsnips we get. It takes a while. I could cover them, but and I'll I'll get what's left because I have parsnips already. Hollow crown, same Okay, time. this is my carrot and tomato space. This is a carrot leaf. If you don't recognize it, this is parsley. Yeah, it looks a little taken down. The butterflies are laying eggs on it and it's about to flower. So that'll be pretty when it happens. Well, pretty to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw more carrot seeds over here, of course. My foolishness here. Every year I plant watermelon. Every year I have beautiful watermelon vines. Um, I'm gonna plant watermelon again this year. I got two. I got an 85 day, which is laughable, but hey, I figured it out. The sun, this is a raised bed, so it gets more sun. And if I can just get the watermelon to grow on the, on the ground here, then it'll get um, light. So that's what I'm gonna try. Now for my Keekly watermelon, which take three months of southern sun, I am planting them in the hottest spot in my garden. This spot stays hot all the way to October. So May, June, July, August, September, October, that's five months. Things take longer in Southern California because we don't have as much rain and um, sun as other parts of the United States. So I got five months and last year I did get winter um, cucumbers in this spot. So it's my melon spot, I'm giving it Here's a try. today's harvest. As you can see, I have quite a big of endive. There are some long chicory leaves on there. This is crest. These are land crest. They are very drought tolerant. These are purple broccoli flowers. They don't, they didn't get very big of flowers for me. And I got mustard greens and um, the mustard plant is dying, but I am pulling the leaves. Anyway, let me see if I can pull, if I can find some. I'll be back. I'm going to try to find some of my um, red Chicory. chicory leaves. If you see this in the store, they would sell you the whole plant. Just cut off at the base. So, as you can see, my harvest are getting better. It is, the, it's almost May. It's one week from May. So, we'll see how, how much better the harvest gets because these are all winter vegetables. My spot didn't have enough light, so I lost some of my lettuces. And But chicories are not annuals. They are perennials in my area. So that's why I'm getting a harvest of the perennial chicory and mustard greens, cabbages and stuff like that. They are pretty drought tolerant if they establish over the winter time. So the plants have gone to flowers. You've seen that in my garden and I'm now just picking the leaves, washing them off and using those I can, those I can't use go into compost. It's hard for my 80s baby. Pour some argan oil for George Michael. Cause you gotta have faith, faith, faith. You gotta have faith, faith, faith. 